Well, it's really not tournament basketball season in Northeast Missouri until you get your first real Stop the Presses upset. Stop the presses tonight in Highland because number one seeded Palmyra taking on the four seed Highland and look at Nicole Kraft and company go building the early lead. Palmyra trying to answer. Evie Miles was good tonight from distance. She had 11 points including three right here. Unfortunately for her and everyone in Palmyra, Ashton Luttrell was better answering with a three. Again, Miles will try to come back and match match Miss Luttrell. That's not really a really good thing to try to do. Kind of a fool's errand because Ashton Luttrell can flat score the basketball. She had 25 points tonight and it was all about her and the Highland Cougars as they pull off the upset and knock off Palmyra, the one seed 47-42 to advance to Saturday's championship game. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket, it would be Clark County and Knox County going at it. And you're looking at Kathleen Hinkle right here with a nice take in the paint for the Lady Eagles early. Clark, though, with plenty of answers offensively, many of them coming for Miss Megan Brennan. She was good tonight with the drive and the kiss off glass for two of her 14 points in the night. Again, Knox County answering via the Hinkle. Miss Kathleen Hinkle with a nice take again here off the offensive glass. Good for her, but again, the other direction. Here comes Clark County and Megan Brennan with the lay-in at that point. First half for Knox was all about Kathleen Hinkle. First half for Clark was all about Megan Brennan, as you probably figured by this point. Second half, we had uh, some scoring variants. Finally, check into this one. Taylor Lincoln for Knox going to come up and knock down a three right here. The other end, Taylor Carter going to clean up with a two for Clark County, who was just too strong. Lady Indians with plenty of offense tonight as they get the victory and advance on to take on Highland on Saturday. 51 to 39 is your final. Also, we have some consolation highlights for you just because we were there and just because we thought we would do that for you. South Shelby and Canton going at it in this one. Kelly Harvey, pretty good night for her. She had the three right here from the corner. She was ably assisted on this night by Cassidy, jo Cassidy Johnston, who ended up the night with 24 points. This is Kelly Harvey, though, again with another take for her as Sal Shelby gets the win tonight over Canton in the consolation bracket. 53 to 40 was your final there. Scores from Clopton tonight. The number one seed, the Clopton girls take out Winfield in a game that wasn't nearly as close as the final score might indicate. 51 to 11, Emily Haynes leading the way for the Lady Hawks with 16 points. Who would Clopton play next? Well, Bob Gillum was hoping that it would be his Monroe City Lady Panthers who were looking for redemption after a loss to this very same Clopton team at the Rumble on the River. Monroe City taking care of business against Silex. This, my friends, great take right there from Callie Miner. Silex down by as many as 11 in the first half. They spurred a little bit of a first half comeback late. Just too much of Kelly winking. She had herself a really nice night tonight with 14 points to lead her team to victory as Monroe City advances to the championship game with a 52-37 victory. They will get that chance to rematch with Clopton. In the consolation bracket, it was Louisiana falling to Ellsbury 41-34. Other scores to pass along tonight. Big Ten basketball, Illinois rallies and comes back in Evanston to beat uh, Northwestern 57-56. Also, a sweep tonight for Ripon in Jacksonville over Illinois College. Men's score was 83-73. Women's score was 75-70. And if you haven't heard just yet in Major League Baseball, Carlos Zambrano is a Chicago Cub no longer. He has been traded, at least uh, pending everything falling into place, including physicals, to the Miami Marlins for Chris Volstead, as you well recall. Mr. Zambrano had plenty of issues with his temper over the last couple of years. By the way, personal aside tonight, didn't get a chance to do this earlier, just found out tonight one of the great people in Tri-State Sports passed away over the weekend, Charlie Houston, who was a Hall of Fame official in baseball and softball and in basketball and in football up in Macomb. One of my favorite people passed away over the weekend, so I wanted to take this moment to acknowledge what a great guy he was, all the great things he did for for young people in our area. Anybody who ever worked a baseball game or a softball game really had come to love Charlie. Great guy. Our condolences to his family. World feels a little emptier without him this week. Absolutely. We'll be right back.